Hey guys, Steve back here with another figure review, and this time we have another Transformers figure review. And here we have a, vi a very, very highly anticipated figure, and it is the Transformers Generations War for Cybertron Megatron. This guy is just an amazing looking figure. I am, you know, in awe right now, especially because uh, I am planning on making a stop motion, um, and I'm going to use this guy and the War for Cybertron Optimus Prime, and you know, not to give that much stuff away, but I'll be working on one. Um, so really, really nice tank mode, Cybertronian tank mode. Um, this, this is, of course, the hovering mode, as you can see. And we can turn, turn it into the quote-unquote vehicle mode as set onto the um, packaging, and it's just him with wheels. doesn't really roll re very well. It just has those tiny wheels on there. Um, let's see his head right there. Um, so that's, this is practically it. You know, there's nothing much to do in his... Um, alt mode except for the launching missile and it does launch pretty well it's mm. let's try to watch this here there see um so let's get into this transformation um first thing you want to do is take the very very nostalgic arm cannon thing off um next thing you want to do um is of course just Untap these areas right here. What you can do with those, um, of course, put these up first. And then bring these down. Bring it down. Then this just flips up. Then you straighten the knees. Bring the foot down. Bring the foot down. And bring these sides up. And there you have Megatron's leg. Actually, this should be right here. So you, you're not supposed to see his face in alt mode. That's how it's going to look. Um, Next thing you want to do is just take this, take this piece, kind of untap it from there, turn it around and bring it down. Now we're almost done. Um, next thing you want to do is there you see his hands right there, just kind of claw your way into that and bring them out. It is in both sides and you just, so tab here and a hole there, oh you can see that tab here and a hole there and you just have to plug this in, male part, female part. Um, and then just put them together. Do the same on the other side. Just this is my only one of my only complaints about this guy. I cannot for the life of me try the other one. The other one's easier, the bottom one. But the one up here is very, very difficult. There we go. Then just once again just tab it in. There we go. And then just bring this forward, bring this forward. Um you know what, just bring it out first. And then you're going to want to extend those. Bring it down. Bring it down. It takes a little bit of doing to get done. Um, then, move this forward. Bring it down. Move it forward. Bring it down. Bring the head up. Take this piece. Bring it up. And there you have Transformers Generations War for Cybertron Megatron. Now, this is just an amazing looking figure. I really, really like how he looks. Just the overall execution of him really does look like how it looks in the game. Really nice Decepticon symbol. It is purple, of course, not the silver one that they normally put in Transformers figures nowadays. And of course, you take his um, cannon. Just there's a indented tab there, a uh, hole here, a tab there, and just kind of plug it in there. And there you have him with his really, really nice looking cannon. Um, just a very nice looking figure. Uh, articulation. Hinged um, arms right there. Twist here, the upper elbow. Bends here, like that. Oh, you didn't see that again. Let me do that again. Um, and then twist here. Bend at the elbow. Bend here. And then, well. I don't know. Does it bend there? I don't think it does. Maybe it doesn't. So it bends there, at the elbow there. Twists here, and then the f wrist, nothing in the hands. Um, no waist articulation. Um, the legs do go fo all the way up, all the way back. Do go in and out. Twist at the knee, bend at the knee. And the foot is articulated due to transformation. And the head can go kind of pivot up and down and go 360 on a hinge. So very well articulated. Um, this articulation there. Just very, very nice looking, especially with the War for Cybertron Optimus Prime. And 
Yes, I have customed my war for Cybertron Optimus Prime. You can see right there, I put on the nice silver and I've even put on the red on his um, face mask. Put some dry brush on here. So there's that. Um, so they just look really, really good together. I mean, it's Megatron and Optimus Prime. I mean, you gotta have them together. So very, very nice. I really, really do like how this turned out. I'm not really gonna talk about any um, that, that much paint detailing because you guys can clearly see that, except I really, really do like these transparent parts right here. And uh, right here. And also the missile. It's very, very nice looking overall. Um, the head sculpt, very G1 Megatron right there. So, very, very nice figure. I definitely do recommend you guys pick this guy up. Um, he is out in retail now in uh, Manila. I did get him at Kid Station in um, Greenbelt 5. So he is um, out in retail, so go pick him up if you can still find him. I, I only did find one of these one of this guy. So um, it's going to be a chase figure for the Transformers Generations line. So thanks for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, with two thumbs up for this guy, and um, have a good day.